back here. Call a meeting to order. Please rise for the pledge. <laughs> pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, justice for all. Thank you all for coming this evening. Uh, Ms. Owens is excused, and Mr. Leon is lost in transit or something. We're not sure where he is in a puddle someplace. First item on the agenda under presentations is teacher, school nurse, teaching assistant, and transportation personnel appreciation day. Throughout history, teachers, school nurses, teaching assistants, and transportation personnel have had an impact on the district students and community. They work for the well-being, welfare, and future of our children. This awesome responsibility is accepted with commitment, dedication, and even love. Because of the complexity and diversity of their roles, they must be flexible, resourceful, positive, and patient. The teachers, school nurses, teaching assistants, and transportation personnel of the North Syracuse Central School District are professionals of the highest caliber who have dedicated themselves to the ideals of their profession. Students, parents, administrators, and community members recognize, applaud, and appreciate their efforts to ensure students receive a quality education. To honor the teachers, school nurses, teaching assistants, and transportation personnel of the North Syracuse Central School District and their accomplishments and efforts on behalf of our community's most valuable resource, our children, I, Michael Shoes, the President of the Board of Education of the North Syracuse Central School District, on behalf of the Board, express our deepest gratitude and hereby declare May 2, 2017 Teacher Appreciation Day, May 3, 2017 School Nurse Appreciation Day, May 4, 2017 Transportation Personnel Appreciation Day, and May 9, 2017 Teaching Assistant Appreciation Day to be celebrated with appropriate educational activities. Recommended Board of Education Action declare May 2 Teacher Appreciation Day May 3, School Nurse Appreciation Day, May 4, Transportation Personnel Appreciation Day, and May 9, 2017, as teacher, Teaching Assistant Appreciation Day. So such a motion. Mr. McClintock, Mr. Harrington, all in favor? Motion carried. Thank you all, to all these folks. Anything at, at this point? Yeah. Presentations, let's do it.
Next item on the agenda, agenda. Uh, comments from the audience, and we have one. Uh, John Kuula wishes to address the Board of Education uh, regarding tenure recommendations and the PAR review. So, good evening, everyone. Um, I have no scripted comments. Um, it's a really brief uh, moment where I want to share with the board the success. Um, it's not only success, but the uh, uh, amount of hard work that um, probationary teachers in North Syracuse go through. Um, roughly, uh, was it a, a decade ago, almost? Um, it is almost, yes. We engaged in um, some work uh, to address our teacher evaluation system. And included in that, um, we um, built and have now a thriving peer assistance and review program. The, the probationary teachers, um, through the benefit of uh, hard work, uh, dedication, and the support of um, very talented consultant teachers um, have now come on board with their feet running. Um, our probationary teachers that you're looking at right now, eyes have been on their practice in a way that we have not been able to do in past. Um, so I come to you with number one, a thank you as a board um, and thank you to the superintendent because to do this, it comes at a cost. But what we receive on the other end, the benefit of, of knowing that we have teachers that are, we're bringing in for a tenure recommendation, that we know how they function with their peers, with all their students, um, is, is unprecedented. And quite frankly, you, you know this when you go through because the depth of information that you have available to you um, is immense. So um, I want to thank all of you, but I also want you to recognize um, truly the hard work and the difference it means to have tenure in North Syracuse today than it did a decade ago. Um, we've moved in the right direction. Our students benefit from it, benefit from it. our association benefits from it, um, and our district benefits from it. So thank you very much for the time. Thank you, John. Appreciate those comments. Item 4A, board committee reports, comments, anything? Mary, Liz? All anything? No. Just our yep. policy is committee is meeting on Monday the eighth, and we do have one policy on tonight's agenda. Oh yes, we'll let you comment on that when we get there. Okay. If anything. Okay. And then superintendent's comments. Well, as always, I'm looking to celebrate good things involving students and. Um, I want to thank all of the staff and the students that were involved in the immense work that went into the uh, Music and Art Festival uh, this past Saturday. What a great success. It was, it was packed, and people had nothing but wonderful things to say. So that certainly is a true celebration that we look forward to every year. Today something came across my desk, and I know that this was shared with the board, so if you had a chance to see your email, you would be aware of this, but I think it's worth noting that leadership students in block six at the high school approved the star leadership projects and there were 40 projects involved with a number of students 128 seniors who completed the program attending nine out of 12 seminars held after school since their sophomore sophomore year and completed a final project this may of their senior year will be wearing the royal blue leadership court at graduation this is something new a huge huge accomplishment for them uh, the seminars are held two to three after school in the auditorium and students taking the leadership class are the ones who plan the seminars and when you look at the work that they did it's truly truly demonstrates evidence of leadership and, and wonderful programs that they put together 223 seniors attended at least one seminar and then 128 completed the program they were exposed to organizational skills communication skills living independently college life peer pressure motivation life after college money management teamwork obtaining scholarships career planning and self-confidence and this program started in 2009 so congratulations to them this won't be the only time that you'll hear me say this um, certainly is a theme especially with our senior class this year classes have personalities and this class has as a group of we're going to miss they've truly left their mark thank you 
Mike? I just want to share, I'm not sure if the rest of the board knows this. Um, <clears throat> last week, our current Teacher of the Year, Amy Heisek, was in Washington, D.C. Um, she participated in the March of, uh, for Science. Um, and additionally, she got to go to the White House to meet Secretary DeVos, uh, Vice President Pence, and President Trump in the Oval Office. So I'm not sure if we've ever had <clears throat> a teacher from North Syracuse be able to go to the White House like that. Um, but it's pretty incredible that our Teacher of the Year um, was able to uh, continue her travels around the country and, and meet with the President of the United States and, and all of our fellow 49 Teacher of the uh, New York, or their State Teacher of the Year. Um, and I'm sure we'll do whatever we can to help our next Teacher of the Year take the same path down and continue to represent North Syracuse across the country. Okay. Go right ahead. I, I cannot, I have to jump back in. A uh, super huge congratulations to our CNS marching band. They are going to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in 2018. They're making history for our district, and they will be one of only 10 schools in the country that have been selected to participate. They will not only be rec uh, representing our district and community, but all of New York State. So uh, a huge here. congratulations goes out to them. Hey, thank you, all. Item five, routine action items A, Consideration of approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of the Board of Education of April 24, 2017. B, consideration of the classification and school placement of disabled students certified by the District Committee on Special Education and acknowledgement of business office reports for March 2017. I'll uh, take a motion to approve 5A, B, and C as a group. Ms. Cash, Mr. Maurizio, all in favor? 6A, discussion action items, acknowledgement of the 1718 payroll schedule. Uh, anything here, Don or Annette or Jason, of any significance? Okay. We have 6B, acknowledgement of a gift. Uh, we have received a donation of $2,259.99 from the North Syracuse Education Foundation for the North Syracuse Education Foundation grant winner, Orphrageous. Melissa, help me, Petrarca, Petrarca thank you. I'll, I, I have trouble with this. Roxborough Road Elementary School, so we will get, take a motion momentarily. Can we do A and uh, B? Why don't we do A and B together, because the others are, are with, the, uh, with the vote. So uh, a motion to approve A and B as presented. Ms. Cash, Mr. Fafalia, all in favor? Okay, C. Appointment of the voting system specialists, registrars, and a custodian of the voting machines for the May 16 annual budget vote and board member election. Is there a motion to approve those? Ms. Scanlon? Mr. Harrington, all in favor? Mike, we have one abstention on that from Mr. Maurizio. And now 60, we have a German of the regular meeting and a call to order for the public hearing on policy 5311.1 student code of conduct and discipline so a motion to adjourn the meeting and open the public hearing on the policy there's such as miss scanlon and second mr Maurizio. uh no no mr. Maurizio's here we'll do Maurizio. i looked that way and said his name okay all in favor okay so now the public hearing is open on the Student Conduct and Discipline Policy 5311.1, is there anyone in the audience wishing to comment on that policy, which it's simply up tonight for re-adoption? Mr. Carrillo? We participate with the training from BOCES, and all the, D the DASA coordinators have to be trained on an annual basis through BOCES.
My understanding is the way that it's set up, it meets the requirements of the DASA law. Um, that doesn't mean that others can't come forward, and I believe that they can always go to the district level as well. And I believe that's what happens now. Yeah, and um, Val de Florio is the coordinator at the district level. Any other questions or comments? And we will close the public hearing and move to 5E or 6E, the actual motion uh, to approve the amendment and readoption of policy 5311.1, student conduct and discipline. Ms. Scanlon, second. Mr. Harrington, all in favor? So approved. Uh, seven, personnel reports. Uh, instructional personnel, support staff personnel, and administrative personnel. Is there any need for discussion of any of these? Otherwise, I'll accept a motion to approve seven A, B, and C as a group. Ms. Scanlon, Mr. Maurizio, all in favor? So moved. E, motion for executive session. Motion to move into executive session for the purpose of receiving an update on negotiations with the food service and transportation bargaining units to receive an update on two legal matters relative to potential litigation and to review the empl employment record of two individuals with no action to follow. Is there a motion? Cash, Mr. Fafalia, all in favor? So moved. Meeting is adjourned. We'll have all the students who need things signed come forward.